Hey guys, welcome back. So, I've got my bird mold out again. My into resin bird mold. So, I've had some requests to make a blue bird. So I am going to. So I have about two ounces of my mixed mold. And I'm adding to it a relatively significant amount of blue mica powder from HTV Ranch. And the reason that I'm adding it in here instead of after I add the water is because if I add it in here, <laughs> it's got a better chance to be more evenly distributed. So we'll see how that goes for color. Let me grab my water bottle. And add a little bit of it at a time. Making sure that I got all of it mixed in really well. And I'm going to kind of let it sit and degas for a second. While I clean up. So here we have one bird. <laughs> Excuse me, hiccups. One bird mold. Stir, stir, stir. taps. It is still pretty liquidy in there, so hopefully you won't have many issues with bubbles. will take a little bit longer to cure, but that's fine. There we go. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and let that do its thing. And I will see you guys when it's time to hatch the bird. See you soon. All right, let's get out our bird. As always, eco-resin is very tender. It can be very fragile when it first comes out, so I want to be extra careful with it. So, head out. Tiny wiggles, tiny wiggles. There we go. Great. And there he is. Our little bluebird of happiness. And I see a, that's not a flaw. Actually, that's just part of the uh, mica powder. And so, not a problem. So, we will let this little guy cure completely. Give him about 24 hours. And then... We will give him his coating of sealant, which I think I'm going to go for a, just a mildly iridescent coating for it, just to bring out the 
bring out the colors and and everything. I think that that will look pretty. So, that being said, I will see you guys when it's time for next steps. See you June! Alright, it is time to paint our bird. Now, I have over here decanted a little bit of my um, Duraclear cloth varnish. And I'm going to be adding just a teeny, teeny, teeny little amount of my sky blue um, mica powder. I mean, just minimal. Like barely, barely touch it in there. And add it to So here is our beautiful shiny blue bird. His lacquer is all dry. And he's just gorgeous. And like I said, this isn't a flaw or anything. That's actually just where the mica powder, you know, made a little design in him. So he's all sealed up and ready to go. And I had some uh, leftover uh, wired berry garland. So I made him a little necklace. <laughs> so you can take it off, you can leave it on, but there he is. Our little birdie buddy. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers. <laughs>